from New Zealand once again. Loaded up, ready to go. We've got a best of seven on the way. The Chicago 100 versus the LA Dweebs. The final Cold War. Hopefully the final time we ever see Cold War on stream ever again. Which means Black Ops 6 will be a good game if this, if this is the last time we see Cold War again. I'm CNK. Joined by Team Mortal. Ready to go. Yeah, I, I'm right there with you, CNK. As much as I love this game, like... Uh... We can't just keep coming back to this every year for off season, baby. But we got another silver matchup here. It is chumps once again. Map one, we got raid hardpoint. The map we never got to in the last one. We got Chicago hunted and the LA dweebs squaring up here big time. And uh, you know the hunted are looking really good so far into P1, and they have spawns for P2. Let's go, Chicago. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, Chicago's looking very good so far. Got 40 seconds, like you just mentioned. But now, starting to stack some time on that P2 as well. They've got to worry, though, because PO1 and PO2 trying to make some plays around the outside of the map. PO1 gets taken down. PO2 now got to make a play for the boys. But Chicago hunted, stacking up some time. 45 seconds remaining on the P2. The push coming in from LA Dweebs from all around. Kills going the way of Chicago. Dipsy gets some help, picks up two kills on his own, picks up a turn, almost goes for the fourth, but not quite going to get it. His papa, Rafe him, something like that, he's going to get the kill. Flash season. Tell you what, it's flashy. Hey, yeah, you know, these guys are just absolutely commanding this map right now. 75 to 5 so far on the first two fun. hills. And. You know, the dweebs have had P3 spawns since they spawned in. So I think, uh, you know, they're looking pretty good to hold this. So the rotation is in the bag, but they got to make this one count. I mean, especially because we're doing a little bit of a around the world in this series. You got to be able to, you got to be able to capitalize on every map, right? Got to get it done. But already, I mean, P2, let's go, baby. P02 picking up three kills just like that. Up to four and six. Getting things done. Now some solid time going away from LA Dweeb on this P3. Chicago Hunter, though, the push coming in. They pick up a couple kills of their own, but Papa, he's going to get a nice kill there. Just slow things down just a little bit for the LA Dweeb. 35 seconds remaining. Chicago going for a break from that AC side. Couple stacking over there, trying to get pushed on in. Tipsy and Flashy trying to make a move. Papa and PO1 trying to do something as well. PO1 staying alive in the hill. Staying alive, staying alive. <laughs> yeah, he, he's doing a pretty good job of staying alive too as he's allowed flashy to get up behind that lamborghini as well and they're putting a lot of damage down but papa took the long route and it's gonna pay Ooh. a big two piece to get that last little bit of scrap but take a look at that mini map there chicago hunted is all ready up into that uh, p4 up to the left let's get it done or to the right, you don't want up into the right. I don't know why I'm saying up in the left. But uh, Chicago Hunted could be on this time once again. Get the early rotation, get the setup. But Papa gets a nice kill towards the back. You gotta watch the front, though. You gotta watch the front push coming in. Almost shoots his teammate in the back of the head. Picks up three kills, though, total on the side of Chicago. LA Dweebs waiting for the respawns to come in. PO2, though, watching the teammates fall as they push up the map. Has to try to make a play. Gonna do just that. Pushes up into L, picks up one. Goes for the second PO2, clutching up, getting some big kills for the team. The teammate's gonna follow right on up. PO2 gets taken down. Gotta watch that front though. Gonna be one. Oh, Tipsy does not get the second. And LA Dweebs break on in. 15 seconds remaining. So the rotation of P5 is gonna be coming in short. Yeah, that's a really good hill there out of the Dweebs to get that little bit of time. They gotta keep this momentum going though. They got to try and get some of that mid map security, but the hunted are all over it, man. Tipsy is running a muck in the middle of the map right now. 13 and 7. You got statics on the top ring control and on P5, having that top ring control is so so nice. All right, dude. Top rate, top rate as per usual. Number three player static. To hold that down, gets one kill is King John gonna get another, but. Chicago Hunter, doing a decent hold already to start things out on this P5, getting some solid time. Static on a five trick, trying to extend that one out even further. further. But PO2, once again, multi kills going the way of PO2. Picks up three total kills there. Going to keep on pushing. Definitely going to be a problem the rest of this series. But PO2, got to watch out. Get a nice kill there. Tipsy and Static, though, going to be continuing to push. PO2 holding it down solo. Does get taken down. Chicago Hunt also ready for the P1 rotation. And Static, he's very close to getting the artillery. Could this be the kill? Gets it done. Looking for one more for the health. 
Ooh, the streaks do come in. I feel like we got teased so many times in that first series to somebody to get the streaks, but there we go. We do, in fact, no Hellstorm, though. He gets dropped. We do have an artillery inbound, though, and that's kind of just icing on the cake at this point because the LA Dweebs are sort of just trying to fight out of this 100-point club right now if they can. And they're doing really good here on this P1. You got PO2 going crazy, popping a two-piece. That's the PO brothers going big on the map do get a couple trades come out they continue to just lock down all this time here but they gotta try to find a way to rotate here and that the big kill from papa immediately traded out though and the spawns remain in the favor of chicago hunted so the dweebs have got a lot of work yet i tell you what po2 looking for streaks right now as well po2 just flipping these spawns all the way out towards zig Chicago Hunt, you know, they've got players pushing from both sides. Not going to help at all. Static isn't going to be someone who's going to deal with that. Statics is going to get a nice kill there. But Static is still picking, up some, picking up some nice time in this P2 right off the bat here. LA Dweeb's trying to push from both sides here. A couple from Laundry, a couple from the front. But the side of Chicago watching both sides. We'll see if they can hold this one down. Flashy has to make a decent play here. PO1 trying to get it done. PO1 with a nice kill. Holds down the back. Four now for LA Dweeb's finally going to go down. And King John being the king of the hill. That is no lies. Absolutely soaking for the squad, continuing to collect that up. And this is all just dagger time here. I mean, you're you're looking at a, a very overmatch, honestly. I believe they've got enough to tick it out here. But nope, with that contest, they're going to go ahead and secure themselves at least one more rotation. So the dweebs have to be perfect here from here on out. And it's going to start with number seven and eight, kind of finding these kills here. They did get that weird mid-map art spawn though so that's going to allow them to cut the map a little bit and they're going to get there first the dweebs have to continue to find some more kills here they do pick up tipsy on a good trade and e-train get some nice damage down for po to pick up one flashy pushing it back has oh, old papa right He's going to be able to get some help. PO2 is just such a deadly player on this map. PO2 playing very well for someone who just takes like crazy chows in the middle of the open as well. It's not even really using the headies for the most part. But Chicago Hunt want to try to get this break here. They want to win it on this P3. The push kind of coming in towards that AC, that AC side. But some kills still going the way of LA. Dweebs Warren player that back van to deal with. And PO2 by the yellow car. A Lambo player making things difficult, but the early rotation from Chicago Hunted should be able to get it done. You got to worry about PO1 over there, but PO1 should get dealt up pretty quickly here with all the players from Chicago going to be here. But LA Dweeb is going to be reinforcing this position very quickly. E train going to be there. E train goes down. Tips you with two kills right there 28 and 16 on the map. Statics 23 and 13. King John 19 and 13. Got some very talented players on Chicago getting some nice kills. 15 seconds, and this one's done. PO2. Ooh, but with those nice shots from Ray and PO, they get right in through the front. They're going to hold a little bit of time, but the streaks come in from Statics. Does take King John with them, and you got PO cutting the spawns. Does a little bit of damage, and it's going to delay that. And PO2 picking it up. I mean, it's just one, and it's the other, just doing everything they can to try and stay alive here in this first map of the series here. And this is champs, baby. They're not leaving anything on the line. They've gone and made it very interesting, but you need another last second break to try and get in here. PO1 and E train through the front. The trades go out. And you've got PO1 doing a lot of damage. They gotta stay alive. Statics in through the backside. And they're gonna have maybe just enough time to tick out that map here. No! One second to spare that somebody's got a touch. Get them all. They get it, that Chicago no. hunted. End up taking it. 250 to 191 as they take map one. I tell you what, LA Dweebs made a little bit of a comeback at the end on the backs of PO2, but unfortunately started a little bit late, and the side of Chicago just had too much of a lead to overcome. And it seemed like they got started a little late there, you know? Like, they might be a pipe dream at this point, but search and destroy on standoff is not. So it looks like uh, the dweebs on their first attack, they're going to go straight to that B side, and it's tipsy. Yeah, he's giving the call out. Hey, all of them B. <laughs> oh, he literally sees all of them right there, and he, oh, the timing is terrible, Papa Rafe. 
<laughs> He's gonna get a nice little first blood. Flashy though. Get a little flashy. Let's go damage back there. It's two kills in favor of LA Dweebs. Okay. I'm even out for a second. You got King John. It's, it picks up Papa, but PO1 for the quick trade. Now Static's walking or looking over that B bomb site, but the 1v3 situation for the kid. He's gonna have to go big. Only 38 seconds to deal with and gets immediately ripped. The LA dweebs are gonna take that first attacking round. Hey, honestly, in standoff, whenever you're capitalizing and taking your offensive rounds, you're looking pretty good, right? I'm, that's where we gotta get it done here. Obviously, LA being down 1-0 in the series, this is where you gotta get it done. You gotta win these 1v1s, gotta win your team fights as well. Get yourself some nice rounds on the board. Get it done here. Get the first offensive round on the back of Papa Rafin. I say on the back of. He got the first blood. So that's big for the team. Obviously, we need to go up numbers there. But everyone getting one kill on LA Dweebs is pretty big as well. Good for the confidence there. But now, Chicago going to be on the offensive side here. Bomb in hand. Looks like they're going to go for that A side of the map. Pretty common here. Both teams should have trophies in hand. Well, Chicago might not have many, though, because their players could die pretty early on. Bomb going to start getting planted right off the bat here. LA Dweebs going to have to play a retake very quickly here. But Chicago have full sight control here. The push should be coming in here shortly. The number two player, E-Train and Papa Rafem trying to make a play. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> the retake. I mean, you couldn't even get words out. They just immediately all died there. I love this, uh, this play out of King John to just go ahead and get that plant down. You know, they, they, he knows that it's a really tight angle for him to be able to see him from bomb. He's got, uh, he's got uh, Papa in the bag uh, watching him. Or not Papa. Who is that in square there, CNK? Tipsy. The, the, the goaded SMG Tipsy, player. Tipsy, the kid. How could I forget? <laughs> really good round there out of the hunted, though. Fantastic round indeed. Going to be tied up one-to-one. -one. Both teams have won a lot because obviously the round just started. Bomb making a play slowly over towards A, playing back a little bit. King John, though, in a position to maybe make a little bit of people upset here. King John is trying to finesse a little bit here, trying to jump on garbage cans and stuff. Nothing really to jump on in the square, though. Is going to back on out. I definitely respect that, but Static is going to need some help momentarily here once P1 and Papa push on in. King John is here, full health and ready to go. First player up, that's going to be P1, gets taken down. Just like the head statics. I tell you what, the headshot multiplier in this game makes people get deleted very quickly. <laughs> that's very tough. But bomb is down on the A site. So now if you're Chicago hunting, hopefully they know. It's going to be hard to tell right off the bat here from where they're at. But LA dweebs have to make a play for this. Tipsy. Tipsy, oh. try to stay alive. Do you have Papa locking down this A site? He's got the bomb in hand. PO2 is going to get picked up by Flashy, and the round is just over. I guess Papa gets picked up as well. Chicago hunted, finding their second round here. The best play coming out from King John. Looks like some nice shots there with the uh, the AK variant. Oh, yeah. I remember this thing just absolutely shaking up the COD community Reddit oh, whenever this thing came out. People were the so upset about AK. the 74U, being able to cross map people with the Krig and stuff, and it was like crazy. But it ended up being pretty balanced in the end, I feel like. Like, it, it ended up being pretty fun regardless. But here we go. Chicago Hunt back on the offensive side. So far, I one of my favorite things about the Chicago team, they do a great job playing in their duos and just really not abandoning each other. Someone's always around for a trade. Love to see that. But LA Dweebs on the defense here. We're doing a pretty similar hold to what Chicago did get this one going that optic van getting shot up pretty good but po2 is going to get pushed in Papa Rafe is going to help his teammate out they pick up two kills just like that pop up with a nice double kill statics though it's po2 which is honestly the most important kill on the map statics though hasn't been spotted out by this player top house you're lucky there and he's got, and he a little, real quick. he's got a gap here. Oh, but PO1 does eventually find him. Yeah, as soon as we say it. So now it's flashy in a 1v3. And uh, the bomb is in a, a very bad position for him. It's, he's got just a couple members of the dweebs. There's just eyes on. Not a whole lot he can do here. And I think he uh, may be clued into that as well. He's going to try to get into... Papa's face here, maybe try to get something going, but E-Train is good 
for the trade and you got to respect it you know if when the bomb is down just on the site like that in a 1v3 like what are you gonna do just just chow them you know yep. make something you gotta happen. you gotta get it started gotta get a kill on the board to get things moving if you would have got that kill versus papa probably would have had a pretty decent shot at killing e-train as well but they work together well they get the kill on the board close things out tie things up two to two now la dweeb's back on the offensive side Going to get that bomb in hand. Once again, looking like that A pressure going to be coming in. But Chicago hunted. All four players getting into their, their setup here. King John did get spotted out. The trophy's coming in absolutely clutch. Just all the flashes. Ball kidding, just like that. King John with a nice kill. But PO1 with a double kill coming in to counter things back out. Bomb site complete control of LA Dweebs. Bomb going down. And just like that, LA Dweebs in the driver's seat. I really like this position here for the dweebs. You've got PO2 coming around the backside, but it doesn't even matter as the, the main players in the in that round hold strong. That's PO1 and Papa just getting gritty here, getting things started. You can see the PO1 POV here. He finds that nice two piece and it's gonna go ahead and get that plant down too. I imagine that's why we're seeing this best play. <laughs> yeah. Hey. That's a, that's a phenomenal bomb plan right there. Couldn't have done better myself. Deserved to be the best play for sure. The double mean, kill, on the other hand, uh, the double kill was mid, right? Actually Whatever. typical, yeah. The bomb yeah. plan, though. Yeah, it's a bomb plan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it feels like. I mean, that's like the game's doing to us. But PO1 on a four streak right now, 62. And so Papa also on a three streak as their team is up 3-2 in this S&D. Down 0-1 in the series. So they got to get a big win in the S&D. But Papa Ray from Gist like that gets another first blood to the name. Chicago having a tough time over at this A site. Oh, wow. And he's taking that chow, too. He wants the streaks bad. But you got PO1 just putting the pinch down on him. The LA Dweebs are looking very solid so far in this search and destroy. They find a couple rounds quick here. They got the hunted kind of on the back foot. Maybe took a little bit of the wind out of them. Chicago hunted things getting a little bit sketchy over in the camp of Chicago. I tell you what. Have to be nice and careful here. Is they're going to be on defense, though. They got to get a guaranteed round win here. Otherwise, things are going to get a little sketchy. You go down 5 2, you're going to have quite the problem. But LA Dweebs, I like this. Pushing things up a little bit. Not really. I mean, still going towards the A side. The PO2 may be in a spot to pick. Maybe a chance to pick someone up. But Chicago does some early damage with those nades and flashes. Forces LA D Dweebs to rotate back out. I told you, tell you what, this is a very dweeb play, if you ask me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they if they go fast, they could maybe find this timing, but it's looking like the 100 are kind of starting to fan out again. And Ooh, watch that. Yeah, maybe they lost all the advantage they could have picked up there. So now it's just a real awkward timing. Somebody's going to get spooked back here. You got Flashy trying to step out, but it is this big mayhem, and King John comes out on top. And now it's a 3v2 situation here for the Dweebs. Z Train is going to try to even that out a little bit, but puts PO2 in the 1v2. PO2. CNK, I, I bet your money is on the kid here. PO2 definitely have a lot of. <laughs> oh, he's got a little bit of info as well, just like that. King John gets a little head tap there. Not going to risk that, but guess what? Statics. He's ready for it. Shouts uh, him out. Gets him taken down. That's going to be round three for Chicago. But guess what? LA Dweeb's still up. Still, you know, they tried to get a little risky with it. Going that back alley again. It almost worked out. But Chicago, right back in it. And here we go. We got the hunted. Going to have to try to do some big work here to even this out. You do not want to... Invoke the will of the 5-3. It is a cruel mistress. Although, it does work out a lot of the time. But still, it would be a lot better to just uh, tie this up and, uh, you know, take the advantage. Take Here they go. They're trying to bang King out John. this low house area here. Yo, one. Down, King John. Oh. But not able to get away. Some trades on the map as E-Train picks up another one there. Going to be a 3-2 advantage in favor of LA Dweebs. But Tipsy and Statics together at last. The S SMG sub duo. Sorry, the the sub AR duo. There you go. Can't really say the same gun, you know. But 
tipsy and performing fairly well in this series. Played phenomenal in the hard point. But I wonder if PO2 maybe got a spot right there as they crossed on over. If they can get PO2, they got a pretty good shot here. Statics with some good damage down. That's going to let Tipsy know what's going on. But E-Train has the cross covered. Statics going to get spotted out. And he gets shot up pretty good. Statics has to try to stay alive. If he can get the pick here, that'd be pretty big. Massive pick coming in from Statics. Now PO2 got to get pushed out as well. The bush coming in. Tipsy trying to push this one out. PO2 by himself. Needs some help. Doesn't need help at all. Picks up a nice kill there. Static's going to slide it out. Gets the kill. Going to be a 1v1 on the board. Bomb needs to get planted as well. Papa Rafe, I'm going to play a little bit of time here. But Statics, he's going to chow this one out. He knows he can get this victory. He's a very talented player, but Papa just going to play his time. Gets on out of there. Just plays for the round. Gets it done. LA Dweeb's going to go up 5-3. I love that out of Papa Ray from there. To, to know, you know, I, I don't need to over chow. You can tell he, he wanted it. He wanted it bad. He wanted I, I bet he bad. had three voices in his ear saying, no, do not, do not. <laughs> just screaming at him. <laughs> You know, yeah, Static is on a full day every on a day. four streak, though. So, <laughs> see if they can get this done. Chicago hunted on the defensive side. Need a big round win here. Triple stacking towards the A side. I like the idea that E train and the boys try to push on up. Push coming in. The first blood gonna go the way of Statics. That's gonna be a massive kill for Chicago hunted. You should see LA Deeps back this one right back on up. Play things nice and safe. They're gonna want to play for a pick of their own. Let's see what the boys can get done here. Oh, yeah, I see some. See a little bit of treadmill walking. Everyone's playing things nice. Okay, okay, okay. Servers, you know, lagging a little bit. We I like this. We like server lag. Like we this. like server. I don't think the server uh, lagging. Yeah, they're going to ride it out. The way they're playing, they're gonna... it can't be lagging. But Flash, well, the nice kill there. I think, I think it just. I think it just looked like server leg because LA Dweebs were playing safe looking for a pick. They were waiting for their teammate to flank. But mm. now 2v4. Kill one. Papa. Two very talented players. Definitely have an opportunity to get this done here. I like this out of PO1 getting a little aggressive. He's going to get spotted out. Guess what? There's a player attractor though. Statix. Massive kill comes in. Take Static right off of the streak. It's not going to matter though because the round should end regardless. But still, getting him off that streak, very big. Get things still, you know, LA Dweebs only up by one round, 5-4. But I tell you what, getting the kill onto Statics, making sure the treats do not come in. Like, if he picks up that kill, what was he on six, right? He's one kill away from getting the, the artillery, and that could very easily on a map like this end the round. Like, very easily. Yeah, you find yourself facing down an artillery on round 11. It's not where you want to be if you are the Dweebs. But if you're the Dweebs, you don't want to ever want to see that round 11. You're looking to just ice out this defense right here. I have a, I have a, a hunch that the Ooh. PO brothers are going to try to make that happen here. Oh, no. PO1 is probably hearing a lot of pitter-patter of little children's feet, able to find one. Now they kind of kind of have to restructure here. They're just opting to maybe kind of hold out for a second. It's looking like the hunted are going to be caught out very soon. As you can see, the dweebs are starting to collapse around them. E-Train finds Tipsy. There's the trade from Statics onto E-Train. 2v3 situation here. And it's not looking good for the Chicago hunted. 2v3. At least they did get a E-Train. And King John kind of sneaks towards the hay bales. Oh, never mind. PO2 knows he's there. But has to take a shot at Static. Static gets taken down just like that. 1v3. Last round on the board is LA Dweebs. Get it done. Winning a 6 4 fashion. Bring us to a map three. No problemo. Hey, Dweebs. Okay, I see you. Kicking things off here once again on the checkmate control. Series tied up one to one. We're at the Hilton doing our thing. Yeah, the high ability. Hey man, we did I thought this was a holiday in. Well. <laughs> we go we got Chicago hunted. They they have already gotten two ticks at B. I mean, that is some really strong attack side here on the checkmate control. If memory serves, uh very hard to win attack on checkmate control. It that's very difficult. Right, but definitely still doable. Chicago hunted though having a tough time right now. E-Train doing a good job. 
getting some spawn kills on the board. But two ticks on B right off the bat is definitely something not to be upset about at all if you are Chicago. But you got to deal with this player, your front yellow. This, if you let this E-Train player stay alive, it's going to be a problem. Two players on B, but guess what? Both those, well, one dead, other one still alive. Static's doing a good job here, just staying alive. If you can get this B captured, this would be pretty big. But not quite going to get it. The third tick, though, definitely on the way towards some decent progress here. But that number eight player, E-Train, until he's taken down, you really can't make much progress. He's going to push all the way towards back tube, finally gets taken down. But the rest of the team now finally pushing up for LA Dweebs, getting things pushed on in. The A point going to be contested temporarily, so that's going to pause time as Chicago get a clutch kill in play. Uh, yeah, PO2 being in the plane is definitely going to be an issue here for the Chicago take on A as they just get cut down. You do have Flashy with a little two-piece, going to be able to keep that clock stopped at 22. As the B point looks like it is going to fall, Chicago hunted now extend that timeout to a minute 20. They've got a little bit to play with here, but two members die immediately. So this may not be the uh, the, the uh, break off that they were wanting here towards the side, but King John's going to pick up the pieces with a little two piece steps into a, and now you got tipsy along the backside. He's going to keep that clock stopped at about a minute CNK and Chicago hunted are looking pretty good. I mean, they're looking fantastic. You got the full B objective. Your teammates are slowly pushing up this map. PO1 bottom plane staying alive, though. PO1 being very annoying. Papa Rayfam also going to get a nice kill in the objective. But Flashy stays live temporarily, does go down. The plane control in favor of Chicago. They've got a decent amount of map control. They could use this to their advantage. King John just has to stay alive here. Get some kills. Just be annoying. In the back spawns right now. Lives at 8 to 7. 45 seconds remaining. An offensive win here, regardless of be big. Papa Rayfam almost makes a massive play. Does get a nice kill, which is a big play. Here we go. The A Chow coming in. You got to watch out for this flank, though. E Train Stopped doing what E Train does best. Oh, yeah. Guy guy loves it. Guy loves it. Give six it and tip. five. Now six to four. Dweebs have no lives. Oh, Three on going. the board left. Chicago Hunted got two in the hill. They've only got one tick left to go. The Dweebs have to be perfect here. And now P01 was a big two piece in the hill. Statics gets a lot of damage down, but P01's locking it. Yeah. Start winding that back. He finds another one onto King John. He's do it himself. That is stash. That is Austin Litico out there. It's slasher just shutting him down. He finds another one, a 1v1 situation for P01, oh. and he finds it. He takes it. With the I fries mean, in the bag. Peel one might be the goat. Dropping, what, 10, 11 kills in the S&D. Clutch is up in the control as well. I mean, look at this guy go. Goes to a 2v2, makes it a 1v1, and Peel one clutching it up for the boys. Getting it done. They barely sneak by. They give up five ticks to give it, get it done. But they clutch up in the end. Get it done with the lives. Oh, my gosh. And Peel one on a five streak as well. Now, keep in mind... This is probably one of the worst maps in COD history for streaks. So, like, streaks don't matter that much. But still, intimidating and can help yeah. with pings as well to locate players. The artillery is pretty much the only streak that matters. And it really only matters if they're capping B. You can't really get into that A site. And a near perfect break off there for the Chicago Hunt. Did they find two? They unfortunately pick up one of their homies. But... E-Train is good for a trade, so the dweebs are going to stabilize, at least for a moment. But they got to try to maybe find some more uh, ground on this map here, as they do eventually push through that A side. Looking like maybe a three-stack situation here, is that A site is going to start point, evaporating. I stacked that point where the dream's right there, but the stack is coming in, but PO2 going to lose the life. PO1, though, still clutching up, get a nice kill. E-Train as well. A-Point is going to get stacked up, get taken out of this lobby. Gone for good. Now, a minute 55. LA Dweeb's got 25 lives. He ain't a dream to get it done, and that dream looks like it's going to pay off. The punch comes in, but doesn't get it done right there. Flashy, unfortunately, not going to get that kill. But the double stack is in. It's going to be a little bit difficult to break this one open. You can't give up too many ticks here. If you're Chicago, got to make a play. Stacks with a nice kill there. Teammates going to push Sean up. A PO2 going to be hard to beat out. He's got the irons in his favor. But some big kills coming in from Chicago. Got to push this one through. Get their plane control now. Don't want to give up too much map control too early. Just like that, PO1 fighting right on back. They've got four ticks so far. Need two more in a minute and 40 to do it. Oh, <clears throat> oh that, that killed their uh, 
Ooh. Me train is going to make it very, very difficult here for these guys as now they're able to get into the point and you can see the checkmate blender starting to come in a little bit. This is the one advantage if you're on the attacking side. You can kind of control this underplane and top plane area. Force that far spawn. There's just not a lot you can do and you see it pay off. It's the LA dweebs take the attacking. Or, yeah, take the attacking side there. And uh, what a way to get her done. And yeah. they, they might take this map. Yeah, I, th I think, like, just the way they're playing this, it's just, it doesn't really make like, sense, I guess, how that just happened. But Chicago is just playing really passive right now. They get, like, <laughs> they get the kills they need, and they just don't take any map control whatsoever. And just kind of gave it up right there to LA Dweebs. LA Dweebs, though, playing great. They, they see a yeah. window, they take the window, right? They, they see a little bit of mid-map control as far as the plane is concerned or going up the B lane or A lane. They just take it immediately. They don't even hesitate. They go for it. They get some nice kills. They get some time on the board immediately. But now up to 2 well, They've got the first blood as well, pushing for, very far forward as fast as they can. Chicago has to make some very clutch plays very quickly. Chicago going to be able to get into that B point. Got the clock stopped at about a minute. But so far, it's been PO1 just doing what he does, man. He's, he has absolutely came alive these last few maps, this last map or so. And now you just have a, a whole lot of team fights firing off all across the map. Nobody really getting any serious position, but Chicago Hunted are maintaining control of the plane, which is basically the most important part on this map. So yeah. as long as they've got that, they can, can kind of rest well. And unfortunately, I think Flashy didn't have a, forgot to slap the mag on that one. <laughs> if he had ammo right there, that would have been Dunzo, the headshot was lined up and ready to go. But some nice kills coming in from Chicago here over yeah, the last click, like click. 10, 15 seconds, but they're just not getting anything out of those kills whatsoever. LA Dubes is filling the gaps, immediately getting pushed back up. And now 25 seconds remaining. Chicago has to start making some clutch plays as they get back on the reset. Pushing out a spawn, and just like that, LA Dubes pushing on in, looking to take the map in a 3 0 fashion, trying to go up 2 1 in the series. But Chicago Hunters, they sneak onto the B site. They're starting to hold that one down. The kill's starting to come in from LAB. D train picks up one. King John, massive double kill. He needs some team help here. So he's going to get pushed by a couple more. Picks up a third. He's looking for the ace. Give the man what he wants. Diamati out. PO2 in front of him. The enemy going to be spawning behind him. Has to be careful. Needs some help, and he needs it now. PO2 finally picks him up. The work from him. Not gonna, I mean, he needs some help. Needs it now. But Chicago Hunters, they're going to be here. Nine seconds remaining. The push comes in. PO2 picks up two. Picks up a third. No one left from Chicago. Really close to a hill. Never mind. King John close to A. Hops on it. Gets out PO2. 2.6 seconds remaining. Has to clutch up. Gets taken down. No one close. It's going to be done. And LA Dweebs take a 3-0. Okay, Dweebs going up 2-1 in the series. That was a very, very decisive checkmate control here, and it just seemed like maybe the rust was just a little too thick. The Chicago hunted here. So that was pretty clinical from the side. Of the Looking absolutely fantastic on the map as well as the Chicago hunted as they start things out once again in the hard point. Very high. <laughs> the best stop. Ah, uh, Nelson, New Zealand. <laughs> nice here it's nice <laughs> the sun the sunshine state <laughs> <laughs> the hunted coming out strong again man i mean you got another really good break off from them in this hard point going up about 40 probably right by the time this is all said and done here dweebs do have the p2 rotation which is uh very important as this is one of the money hills on this map you can see you've got uh, number five that's po2 already on that crazy satellite heady on the outside there and uh good luck fellas good luck good luck Eddie. especially because it's po2 the guy is a menace but chicago 100 all trying to push from green one going towards square that's gonna be three dead tipsy the one pushing from the top green right now trying to do it oh he ran out of ammo he got the pistol off. not gonna be enough is e-train gonna pull out the diamati as well get the kill on the board flashy though i tell you what flashy looking like dashy never mind he gets taken down but e-train He's going to do a good job here in green just being distracted. 20 seconds remaining. We've got to start seeing a rotation. Love to see Flashy in the flesh. Flashy season is going to rotate on over to that P3, knowing the rotation is far more important than going for the scrap time here on the P2. We should see all of Chicago start pushing back. 
Oh, that's a nice nade there out of Tipsy. Oh, is all of the hunted are very keen onto what the game plan is. They're staying ahead. Static's able to find Papa in the middle of the map, getting a lot of info, a lot of damage down for the team. They've got this uh, this back P3 locked down for the moment here. PO2 and the crew are gonna come through the front. They find a two piece real fast there. That's E Train and the two himself combining. King John gets picked up in the tool shed, and that is a LA Dweebs break. Not going to be able to collect too much time as you still got Flashy to deal with in the backside. But as those hills fall, they're going to find themselves a little bit of a lead here. I tell you what, LA Dweebs doing a good job, fan. Phenomenal break, and now they're doing a good job on this P3. Going to have to start rotating to that P4, though. I say rotating. They're right around the corner. Right? That's over by float. They do have technically the bad side for it, but the breakout's starting to happen. Pop Rick leading the charge there with E-Train and the boys. Flash the season bottom float. Got to be careful here. Over by a generator. Going to get shot in the back real soon, but E-Train gets taken off the map. Flash is going to be annoying. Picks up one, picks up a second with some help. Static's going to get the third. And just like that, the push coming in back in from Chicago. They got to get on the time. Yeah, this P4 is going to be big here for him. King John finding a big one with Flashy. They're able to collect some of this coin here as you still got all of the dweebs spawning towards that warehouse side of the map. Tipsy just being so annoying here in the dark corner. Does spot Rafen on the top tank. They're going to have to deal with him soon. But Rafen's able to find a kill in the hill. That's a big 20 seconds to leave on the board for the dweebs. So you can see Static's trying to get a little aggressive here. Isn't able to snuff out any of those players, though. Is that is a big three dead here from the sides of the dweebs. You do have Papa able to hold on for a moment. But the last 10 seconds, it's kind of anybody's ball game right now. And as we set up for this P5 CNK, I mean, these spawns are kind of all over the board at the moment. Who's going to get in the spawn trap? I don't even know if anyone's going to get in that thing, but it looks like Chicago Hunt. They volunteered as tribute to be the ones that spawn in the bad side of the map here. But LA Dweebs, you got to push on up. You got to get that map control, and the kill's coming in to do just that. King John, though, on the hill, just being annoying. As long as you can get this in contested white time, that's all he needs. But he's picking up some solid green time instead. But his teammate Tipsy also doing a good job here. King John just staying alive, doing a good job getting some damage off. Has to try to help out here as much as he can. E train being annoying. Ian doubles gets taken down. Chicago Hunter doing a good job of holding this time down. Getting a solid 30 seconds so far is exactly what we needed out of this squad right now. But LA Dweebs finally get some kills on the board. Get themselves pushed on up. Some big kills coming in. Is PO2 clutching up once again? The PO brothers doing their thing. And this has just been knocked down, drag out this entire time. First rotations in the bag. May as well be 0-0 zero, zero here as no team was really able to get any sort of big advantage. And now coming back to this P1, you do have the hunted now in the unfortunate spawn here. The dweebs are in a position to maybe run away with it, but as Tipsy finds that kill in top green, that's going to make this setup a little shaky here. Static's taking the rat tunnel as well. Doesn't quite find E-Train, but does get the info. Tipsy's going to move up the middle of the map, finds PO2, and now the collapse from the hunted is in. They're going to try to clamp down onto this point, but the dweebs are able to just stagger him out for the most part for now. But the hunted... Going to stay persistent here. Tipsy doing the rat work, able to get that player off a of caution, and the spawns are flipped. And that is not good for the dweebs. And you can see E Train is keen to that as he moves back over to that green side on the mini map here as we get ready for this next satellite hill. I mean, definitely doing a good job slaying out right there. Chicago getting some big kills on the board. Now they've got to capitalize on that. They've got a little bit of P2 control, but E Train in the corner picks up two, clutches up for his team there. Going to give them full P2 control. Get the early setup going. LA Dweebs last time around got a full 60 here. Looking to see if they can do it again. Getting themselves in that 200 point mark to make this one very hard to do. And PO1 with two kills. Looking for a third. But flashing King John. Get some nice kills of their own. Now King John and his teammates spawning in the back. They got 40 seconds left on this hill. Got to make a move quickly. There's only two players on the hill. They've got a numbers advantage. They got to go now. Some players are going to be in the green very quickly. King John got to move. King John picks up one before going down. The push comes in. And LA Dweeb's holding very strong. And they get the rotation. Very strong. I mean, they got there early and they capitalized on it. Yeah, look at E-Train once again. This guy was... He was active in the checkmate control. Kind of pushing out the map. 
And now you can see him once again getting active on these spawns here. The guy understands the assignment, but Flashy is going to sniff him out, get some damage down, but PO1 is back there he's as well, and now Flashy is in a terrible position. He's got to try to stay alive, let his team maybe get some progress on the map, but just not enough time, unfortunately, is now the LA Dweebs are looking to ice this out here. Yeah, it looks like they might get some decent time, but Hangar getting pushed right now. LA Dweebs have to lead this one. They pick up the first player, one snuck through into Vans, though. That's going to be King John. Picks up a nice clutch kill here. Has to try to just stay alive. Be annoying. Does get taken down. E-Train getting a good one there. But Tipsy, guess who's here? Tipsy Zone, baby. Picks up two. Is going to get taken down by PO2. No other than the man. But LA Dweebs looking very good. They're going to be around that 235 by the time this hill is done. And if you're Chicago Hunted, you have to have a perfect hard point from here on out. And on a map like Garrison, it can be very difficult. But the kill's going their way. Those are going their way. The Chicago Hunted set up pretty firmly around this P4 here. And there is another spawn trap potential here, but all of the dweebs have pushed up into that dark side. And with those two kills from PO1 and E Train, I don't know if this setup is going to hold for long. Flashy's got to go big, finds one, but does get traded out. And the dweebs are in through the front. They're going to start pinning those players into that top green position and now it is the awkward moment where you just gotta dive out of that window dive 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 and now they all just get cut move. down la dweebs cut them down here and that is going to be another map on the board making it 3-1 i mean fantastic job right there out of the la dweebs they do a they do a great job rotating making sure they've got control of those spawns at all times. Their breaks were also phenomenal, pushing in as a four-man squad, making sure they're hitting multiple different angles at the same time. I mean, it is, it's a tough... There we go, baby. Chicago hunted on the attacking side, looking like they're going to make a break straight for that A point. You do have E-Train looking over the train. <laughs> How fitting. Oh. Now the Chicago hunted are a little stalemated here. I gotta try to clear out all these corners here, make sure there's nobody lurking around. No dweebs anywhere that they don't want them to be, but that bomb is getting ever closer to the A bomb site, and it's gonna start to go down here. Static is getting a little bit of trouble on the back side as you, the dweebs have sent a couple players through the Chicago hunted spawn, but as their teammates die off front, that is put you in a tough spot here. Tough spot in bait is just like that 1v4. PO1 got to try to get it done, gets taken down, and just like that, Chicago Hunt start things out on the Express with a nice offensive win. And LA, not the start they probably wanted, but it'll happen, right? What are you going to do? Sometimes you're going to go down around in an S and D. It's no big deal. It's first to six, not first to one. But getting that full A site control as fast as Chicago did, they knew they had that one in the bag for sure. They did a great job there capitalizing, getting some kills as well, working together to make sure no one Lost their life unnecessarily as well. If someone was always there to help out. But LA Dupes now taking this bomb on over to the B-bomb site here. We'll see if Chicago Hunted can counter this one. Because they are the defensive team. But the bomb is on the B-bomb site now getting planted. As soon as it goes down, got to imagine King John probably going to make a move. Try to get something spicy happen. <laughs> you train just absolutely loves being on that train, baby. Yeah, they, oh, oh no, King, King John, John with the insta hop defuse right under their nose. Akpatu. That is a crazy way to end that round. It's like you almost couldn't even get anything going, CNK. It just. I mean, <laughs> as soon as it went down, it went that's away. possible, man. <laughs> oh, no. Slides right in. <laughs> I mean, up. shout out E-Train was trying to get it Here's done. your regain round, right honestly. Yeah, for real. That's what you need right there out of Chicago Hunted. Shout out to King John. Just gets in there, sees the opportunity to get the bomb defused, gets it done. It's a free round win for the team. Now up 2-0, taking a free, free push on over here to A. No one here to contest them out or anything, so looking pretty good. The Chicago Hunted are playing very confidently on this express especially towards this a side you can see they've maybe done this a time or two the no trophy plant 
It's going to work out perfectly, but here come the nades now. Statics is able to find PO1. It's going to have a lot to do here as you got Papa coming through the backside of the map once again. So the Chicago Hunted are currently pinched, but they have control of the site and time on their side. So they're going to have to try to make this turtle work. Here's E-Train, finds a big kill, quickly traded out by Tipsy. As Tipsy finds another one onto Papa, jumps for the third. No big highlight reel just yet, but still works out in your favor as Chicago Hunted find the round, and they go up 3-0. Excuse me, Timor, did you just say they're up 3-0? 3-0, buddy. That's what I'm talking about right there. I mean, a 3-0 lead right now for Chicago Hunted. I mean, you lose three maps in a row. You needed a big map to come out here and start moving things along. Chicago Hunted do just that. They start up 3-0 in this Express S&D, looking absolutely unstoppable on this map and mode combo. Now, LA Dweebs have to try to counter once again. They're making their way on over to the A site. I mean, sorry, B site, that is. And Tipsy is here. Picks up one. Nice free first blood for Tipsy. Now, that was a checkout chow from Tipsy, and I believe it did work out for him. Now, PO2 was able to find one onto King John. It's still a 3v2 situation. Flashy gets caught in a very tough spot. Now, the PO brothers. Go up against Tipsy and Statics here. 2v2 situation. Chicago Hunted do know where the bomb is, I assume. They were all over it, but it looks like they're running away from it, so maybe they don't know that the bomb is down. Does LA Dweebs know that they don't have the bomb in their hand? I Does, does either team know that they're attacking or defending? Do we know what's happening? Well, they get caught out just like that. PO1 gets a nice kill. The 2v2 comes in. Both teams trying to fight it out. Static's going to get the chow. Gets taken down as PO1 and PO2 clutch up the 2v2. It was an awkward round ended in fireworks here. So now you've got the, got the dweebs finally getting on the board here. A little slow on the express. I was starting to think maybe... You know, this might have been the diff map. I mean, I tell you what. The Chicago team, very good at Express. Doing a good job here. But LA Dweebs, they clutch up, they win around. I got to win a few more to tie this up, but they should have some info. The Chicago's trying to push on over to this B site. Push is coming in. Some players here ready and waiting. That's for sure. One in train. I like that from PO2. Watching over. PO1 gets the first blood. Takes King John out. Massive kill on the map. Oh, each rain and tipsy both fire off. Finding one kill apiece. Now a 3v2 situation here for the dweebs on defense. They're feeling pretty good. So now they for sure know that that bomb is down. You can see Mr. PO1 is not uh, leaving that alone at all. Statics is going to get a little info here. Now they're going to opt to split maybe for a second and try to find something on this backside. And Tipsy squares up with E-Train. Stop shooting. Is able to find the kill. Could have been awkward. PO1 just making sure everything's all good on the bomb front. Now a 2v2 situation. Tipsy and Statics still trying to make things work. And Statics is able... Work the bait and switch there. The bomb is going to go down, and PO2 is nowhere to be found. A 1v2 situation has been turned on its head a little bit here. PO2 getting a little crazy, going to have to make something happen. It does get taken down. Chicago Hunted go up 4 1. I mean, Chicago Hunted do a phenomenal job there, right? I mean, you're in a. You're in a situation that never, ever should go in your favor. Chicago makes the best of it, gets the kills they need, gets the bomb down, play it together. The 2v1 goes their way in the end. I mean, Chicago, they're just an express S&D team through and through. Love to see this, the way they're playing together as a squad, locking down these sites offensively and defensively, getting the map control they need is absolutely beautiful. But LA Dweeps, bombing him. Deal one, moving this thing up. PO2 taking some nice shots from King John up the middle of the map there, but King John going to rotate back this bomb, making its way in through the lockers right now. Statics with the AR pushed up pretty far here. Has been very good at close range with an AR, though. Yeah, Statics has been kind of gross with it. 
But you know, if you hit those headshots with the crit, you can make anything happen here. And he's going to square up with P.O. Does find the first blood. He should know that the rock is down as well. I was just going to try to play his life, let his team maybe adjust a little bit here. But a great start for this round. E-Train's going to have no idea. E-Train picks up two! Eh? E-Train might be the GOAT. Oh, PO2 gets taken down, though. Not going to be Tipsy and King John versus E-Train, who E-Train, he's looking for an ace on the round. He picked up two kills, looking for two more. He's got an AR in hand. If he peeks this in time, he might be able to get another kill. King John on the stairs. Bomb is down in his favor, though, so E-Train... Not spotting either of these players pushing up right now. Yeah, it's going to be a little tough. He's going to get pushed right off the bat here. You got to think. He's going to go for that towel. Going to get pushed from behind. The kill comes in. And LA Dweeb's going to lose that round right there. Chicago hunted. Take the lead 5-1. to one. Tipsy is 10-2 and two on a 5 streak right now. That's what we talked about, you know, in the in the pregame is we need to see Tipsy or Statics, one of these guys that had a really good map one, but it's kind of cooled off. You need to see them kind of, you know, take control here, get something going for their team once again. And Tipsy seems like the, the man for the job. And so far, it's been working out. They're staving off that match point for now. They got to finish the job. You can't, you got to be perfect here. Be perfect indeed. We'll see who gets it done. Both these teams are ready to go. Chicago hunted bomb in hand, going back to the old bread and butter, which is the A site. This time around, gonna be two players here to beat out E Train and PO2. Not the people you want to see. PO2, gonna push them up through lockers. We'll see how this goes. Tipsy, though. I mean, look at him go. The chow comes in. He picks up the double kill on a uh, seven streak. This one's done and dusted. He's got the artillery. PO1 on the flank. 1v4. Gets spotted out as well. And just like that, you got to think Chicago should be able to shut him down. No problem. Yeah. He's going to be a little finesse guy here, though. Get some good damage the there. Pushes up. Gets taken down. Chicago hunted. Take the map in a 6 1 fashion. Right back in the series. Still down one map, but three, two. Okay. It's going to be very difficult, but LA Dweeps, they're going to right off the bat. They're going to go four stack the A point. This thing's going to go per very quickly. The flashy gets stuck by an A. Does get a kill before going down, but on the flank picks up two just like that. But Rafem, still alive. We'll see what this LA Dweebs team does off of respawn. Papa by himself trying to make a play is going to get taken down. Chicago Hunter doing a decent job here, getting some nice kills on the board. Pushed up as well as King John as he picks up two big kills in bottom art. That's going to push things back quite a bit for the side of LA Dweebs. It tips you with a double kill as well. I tell you what, this raid control could not start any better for Chicago as they go up seven lives. Sorry, six. Yeah, seven lives right there. And they're doing a good job here as well, keeping this team pushed on in. Yeah, they're, they're really, really splitting this map down. They know exactly where the dweebs are coming from at all moments. I and mean, when you got statics going 4-0 and off start, just standing top grade, I mean, just shutting these guys down, it, it is not get much better for that. And, I mean, look at the way they're just continuing to cut this map here. Statics does get taken out, so no streaks into play just yet. But, I mean, status quo is maintained. As, uh, the dweebs kind of ink out through the middle of the map a little bit here, CNK, but it's not amounting to much as you got statics right back where he wants to be again. Yeah, it's a little bit too little too late, right? Down 12 lives, but some big kills could come in, but flashing statics that continue to pick up kills just like that. They spot them all the way back in the back of the map. 15 seconds left. They got to force their way through art. Not looking too good here. LA Dweeb's getting cut down pretty good, but they're going to make their way through ramp. No one's stopping them yet. King John picks up one, does get taken down as well. The stack back onto A. But guess what? Static's still here. I mean, sorry, Flashy is here. Picks up a kill, does go down. PO1, though, on this time. Second tick to the name. Third tick on the way, but guess what? Static's is back, picked up two, goes for a third, gets taken down. I mean, they're just holding on here. Staggering in over and over the stack of nowhere to be found in Chicago hunted. Take a very decisive first round here on raid control. And CNK and 
That did not look great from the dweebs here. I was expecting a little more, you know. I fear. I fear. They may have lost confidence. Yeah, I, I don't know. That SD may have done it to them. I think maybe we're just back in the Chicago part of the map set. I mean, that's that's really what I'm looking at right now. I don't know. It, it, that is something true. Something seems a little off. I mean, LA dweebs, you got three players at two and eight. I mean, all three of those players, absolutely fantastic, have gone double, double positive on certain maps and modes and stuff. So we'll see them bring it back. But Chicago hunted, though. Once again, they're right off of this A push, right off the bat for them as well. They're going to start things out, though. Getting kills in their favors. They pick up three, make it four. Uh -huh. Don't lose a single life. They get the four stack going. Stack the point word to gyms. Sorry, a three stack is one player going to be pushing through the middle of the map. They're going for the spawn trap on the opposite side. You normally would be able to do it. But the eight point almost gone already. The third tick on the way. E train gonna go to try to stop it. It's oh, doesn't even get a kill. Is Tipsy gonna cut him down? And now Chicago full focus on the B objective. Uh, I mean, just what a start for Chicago. They're coming in, getting the four dead, and then just continuing to control that kill feed. Now they've kind of fallen back just a little bit here. They got to try to break this setup from the dweebs. They got a spread on the map, 2-2 two, two across the board. But that big kill there from King John is going to allow those front attacking members to be able to move up through that pool side of the map. E-Train doing his best Jamie Insight impression here. Posted up on the oak tree, and that is a three dead now for the Chicago Hunted. And uh, they got to go back to the drawing board here. I mean, LA Dweeb's looking good here, getting some nice kills on the board. They just got to start pushing this one back in. The mid push coming in from Chicago. From players here to shut it down, though, is P1. It's a nice kill. I'll kill some... What? What? The grenade hit him and that killed him. That's that's what I'm talking about. Right I think there. he dinked him with it. Yeah, yeah I, think so. I think he was that weak. It's got an arm. Hilarious. It throws me back to when flashes did 10 damage. Oh, the worst thing of all time. <laughs> Man, the amount of kills that people got from flashes just dumb dumb people with a flashbang. It was so dumb. They did 10, no, they just did 10 damage just by hitting near you. It's like, like, like regular, that's not, it's so dumb. Oh, yeah, like yeah, mini, the flash like effect, frag, yeah. Basically. It's so stupid. All right, Chicago getting pushed back pretty good here. LA Dweeb. Oh, there we go. Big kill coming in from King John. Gets traded out immediately. But uh, LA Dweebs. I don't see what they can do here. I mean, I tell you what, Statics, though, he ain't taking no here. He's going to keep on pushing, picks up two, looking for more, but Papa Rafe him. Solidifies the middle map control. Another player here. It's gonna be King John. Take that shell. Take it. Take it. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, he did it. Ooh. King John, my new favorite player. <laughs> oh, Tipsy with the nice jump back movements gonna knock PO2 off the map, and they can they start to stack oh. it up here. CNK. Oh. First tick goes away in a hurry, and Tipsy finds a kill, but you do have Rafem through the back, able to slow that down just a little bit. Now they're able to work the kills, that get them off the point. Six to seven, only seven seconds left. Make it six. It's now E-Train and the crew are just trying to stick close to the hill. Don't want to let Chicago get anywhere close, but 1.7 on the board. Whoa. Lives are tied. Flashy pops a two-piece. PO2 in through the front, not able to find the kills he needs. Gotta get on and it. that last gotta tick get on is going to come it. through. E-Train has no time. Chicago, no. Chicago up 2-0 in the control. I tell you what, I think they took getting 3-0 in the control earlier personally. I mean, I tell you what, they're playing like a completely different team now. Yeah, they, they uh, definitely had a bad taste in their mouth here. I think these guys may also be raid merchants. They seem uh, rather rather good at these maps here. Yeah. <laughs> raid and express merchants, yeah, which like, honestly, is, like, good on you. Being that good at express, like, dude, I, I, I'm rather dash Chicago from here on out, but LA Dweebs, they get the A-stack going right off the bat. They go for A right off the bat again. They give up their art control again. And you got to think, what happened last time around might just happen right over again here. They're being encircled. E-Train, though, this time going to get a kill. That's going to help out a lot. Flash going to push on up, picks up one. He gets him up to King John and pick up another. But, oh, PO2 clutches up. There we go. The A stack is in. The kills come in that they need. They get the stack. Stack the point word to Jim's. The A point's gone. Now just have B to worry about. But you still have to worry about some Chicago players all up in your business. 
King John. Ooh. King John being the high value target there does get taken down. And you got two members from LA Dweebs going to be able to lead on this kind of pincer movement here. But you got to deal with Tipsy on the front side first. Now Papa and crew to try to bust in here. You got King John putting a lot of damage down. He is able to find PO1. Now Chicago is going to be able to just kind of brace up here. You know, you've got uh, your your lead member in Tipsy getting taken down. So now you got to adjust your defense a little bit. Pick up this first wave, but you just get melted as PO1 and E-Train are popping off once again. Now Tipsy is going to be able to find Papa. CNK, that, that that point is getting moved that very quick good. here. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> okay, but that team kill is actually going to hurt a lot, I think. LA Dweeb still here. <laughs> they only lost one player. They've almost got the second tick. They've got to get the second tick on the board. Static gets taken down. That's going to be going from PO1. Mm. They've got to get a stack going right now. Rafe, I'm going to push on in. I like that. But King John is on the quick little flank. Picks up one. Gets taken down. This is big. The D point almost completely gone. Tipsy going to be very weak. Sneaks out of this one. Last echo. PO1 gets taken down as well. But Papa Rafe picks up two kills. His teammates should be able to break out a spawn. LA Dweeb's looking like a different squad from here on out. Doing a good job on this offensive side. Here to get this full ticks on the board. They've got to be careful. One tick left. They just need to get a couple kills and move off of that. But Flash is going to overpeak it tonight. He gets the kill to his name, though. E train. Let's trade it out. It's going to be annoying back here as his teammates push up from the front. Kill one gets a nice clutch kill. One in basketball to worry about. That's going to be flashy. They get two. Tipsy's on there. Now, PO2 is playing so carefully here to try and make it up the map. He knows how important his life is, but he does get picked up by Flashy, and King John slides out for Papa. And Tipsy and Flashy are just absolutely holding down this B point right now. They cannot progress through the pool side of the map. And this has just become a killing field here. Is now they are all funneled underneath bedroom. I mean, they, there's only 30 seconds left. They got to make something happen. Starting to flood out just like that. LA Dweebs may be a chance here. King John, though, with a big kill. That might shut things down completely. E-Train with a nice one over towards the pool. Tipsy goes to clutch up. As well, Statics the nice kill. King John on a quick little flank. Just like that, 10 seconds remaining. Everyone off respawn. The number one player got to make a move, but I don't think so. Chicago going to take the map. Oh. They tie things back up in this series, 3-3. Three to three. Uh Uh-oh. That's uh, I don't know what this means, but to be honest, I have no that's idea. That's a tie ball game, folks. Like, I mean, we're we got a map seven here. If you would have told me after that control, I, I don't know if I would have believed you. Yeah, I, I didn't really see this coming. Like, I don't, I don't really know how this is gonna end. I mean, Moscow S and D between these two, dude. That was Timothy. All right, well, here we go, Team Boar. We got the final map of the series. No matter what, the winner of this will be your champion Come on. of the matchup. Chicago on it, LA Dweebs, Moscow, S&D. Both these teams winning three maps. Whoever gets the fourth will take it. This is the final Call of Duty Rec League throwback match. Could be phenomenal. Winner of this goes on to play BO6. Loser of this goes on to play BO6. I tell you what, I like the odds of people playing BO6. Huh. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to get a quick square up towards this A side, too, as you got the LA Dweebs sending a lot of resources over here. They're going to back down John and the crew for a get moment, there, e but I get suspect there. this is going to be a bang out here. Slow peak this E train. Slow peak this. He does indeed. He gets flashy. That's going to be a big first blood right there coming out of E train. Opens up things for LA Dweebs. But Chicago, they get the bomb down. That's going to help out quite a bit. E-Train still mid, though. Got to be careful. King John sneaks out of there without a bullet. A PO1 sneaks up, uh, sneaks up the Eskies. Picks up a nice kill. Now going to be a 2v4. Make it a 1v4. Static by himself. Picks up one. Lines it up. Doesn't get the second. A retake there for the Dweebs. Just seemed like PO1 was able to get some good timing there. You could see the, I believe it was John jumped through Eskies and he kind of peeked down there for a moment. And it may have been spectator, but you could see the couple of those members of the dweebs coming up through the checkers down there bottom Eskies. And uh, 
I don't think he caught on to that, and they were able to just kind of collapse that defense from that angle there where they thought they were all good. So uh, good start for the Dweebs. It's kind of what they needed, you know, coming into this. They've definitely been trying to just put it all back together after <laughs> this series has started yeah. to fall apart for them. Yeah, you get up 3-1, then things just start to crumble right back on down to 3-3. But now, back in the driver's seat, finally, for the first time in a few maps. But now, the A push coming in from the LA Dweebs. Up 1-0 on the S&D, and King John going to get the first blood, though. He's going to put the favor back into Chicago here. Oh, he wanted to take that shell. But, Flashy with a nice kill as well. On to PL1. Statics. Watching his teammate get shot up. Isn't a big fan of that. E-Train somehow takes down King John. Gonna be a massive kill coming in there. King John. I'm watching that doorway, but Flashy on the flank. Ooh. E-Train has potential to do something great here. He's on a four streak. And he doesn't check his corner. Well... Chicago hunted take the round and that is one one all across the board and uh, This is looking like it may end up in a long-haul situation here seeing K these these guys are playing very disciplined Yeah, I mean <laughs> I, I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. That's for sure. We have both these teams Doing a tang, but Chicago hunted. I tell you what They something special. They something special indeed. This is a good team. They're up I mean, they're out up. They're tied 1-1 one, one right now. They're back on the offensive side. We'll see if they can play things a little bit safer this time. Make sure they don't lose anyone unnecessarily. But we've got two players hitting up that mid right off the bat. So we'll see how that's going to opt for them there. It's going to be that back hedge ready to go. Ready to beam somebody. Oh, King John. Ooh. Some nice shots out of John there. They gotta be careful. Not able to find anything though. And I love how aggressive this guy is with the bomb. I mean, if you give him even a half opening, he's in there. Now you got Flashy looking over him, able to get a kill, but he's traded out by E Train, who is uh, then traded out by Tipsy. And it is just back and forth here. Papa and PO2 kind of close it out here. You've only got Tipsy left. Finds a big one onto the bomb site. Able to get away with his life. Oh, but misses the corner. Now PO2 going to clutch the 1v1 situation here and move the dweebs up to 2-1. I mean, a phenomenal play from the PO brothers from top to bottom as they getting it done once again. I mean... Look at this guy, PO2, the AR you don't want to see on the Moscow. Make what up the Moscow Reaper up. from here on. Now, I tell you what, he's taking every challenge in the game. I love getting aggressive. His teammate dies, and he just immediately pushes us out. He knows he's weak, tipped, he's weak, gets that kill, and gets that bomb defused. It didn't show us the bomb defuse? What kind of best play was that? Yeah, what the hell? That I mean, the worst play I've seen play. all night. Now, they always show us that, that bomb defuse, but, you know, it's fair enough. I mean, producer did say the best kind because that's kind of facts. We do really just want to see the kills, but, <laughs> hey, regardless, we got it. LA Dweeb's now bomb <laughs> in hand up 2-1 on the rounds here, pushing things out to A. They do get spotted out. PO2, I tell you what, he's going to get traded out. King John, this guy does not care what the sub does get taken down. Though. That's going to be a 2v3 advantage. Chicago hunted. Going to be at a numbers disadvantage here. Ooh, one player just barely sneaks through. I think Flashy did not. 2v3 situation here, but PO1 is going to be able to evens it out here. Or actually, no. It's a 1v3 situation here. So now you got Tipsy hoping to find a seam, but it finds nothing. LA Dweebs moving to 3 1 now. And I don't know, CNK. These guys are looking pretty good here. That was a really clutch kill out of E Train to kill uh i believe it was john in the low uh what is that even called over there like the side bricks area with the stairs brick yeah <laughs> gotta knock the dust off this map just to never cast it ever again <laughs> gotta relearn the call outs <laughs> oh don't worry we'll probably be back we'll do a throwback season again probably <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah. uh, now, Chicago hunted. Bomb in hand. Making their way towards B. They've got to go through E Train, who E Train's been a shooter all day. 7 and 2. Make it 8 and 2 on the SD. 
three kill streak to the name. Now, Ellie Dweeb's going to have a pretty good idea this bomb is making its way over toward the B, but they're going to wrap back around. Go grab that bomb. The Chicago Hunted R. But look at the quick little flank coming in. I say quick. The very slow, methodical flank coming in from L.A. Dweebs. I mean, once this it's flank comes hurt. through, though, it's they are uh, rocking a hard place if you are the hunted. How did oh, know? actually, it looks like they may slip the net here. They have a free know? passage to A, whether they know it or not. And it looks like they're going to go ahead and take it. Tipsy making the heads up play here. 2v4 situation. And it's like Statics is going to come with him. So we've got a full retake situation here for the dweebs. So 45 seconds to deal with. If, you know, if Tipsy can get a big opening kill here, they have a good chance. Oh, I like Tipsy getting out of there right now. 2v4, though. It's going to be a little sketch. Now it's going to be a 1v4. Tipsy, though. I got my money on you, pal. Get the optic lineup. Get it right now. Okay, never mind. That's not the optic lineup. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. That's going to be a 4-1 lead for the LA Dweebs. Looking absolutely fantastic. Offense or defense. Doesn't matter. It also helps when your teammate E-Train is 8-3 and three and just unstoppable with his headies. Yeah, this guy is inevitable or something. Just oh, taking the reins. I think he's got like three first bloods. <laughs> that ain't half bad. Should have gone. Should have gone for the head, bozo. <laughs> it, it's bad because it works for COD perfectly. <laughs> like it works great for COD as well. <laughs> <laughs> But L.A. Dweebs and the, the inevitable man himself, E-Train, making their way over towards A. See if they spot this one out. Static's in the back. He's going to get shot by B.O. 2 B.O. 2 ain't taking no chances. Takes a couple shots down range. We'll see if he's going to repeat this. He's got the Cherry Blossom skin, so I know he's a talented player to begin with. But King John, baby! With the first one, going to rotate back. Gets a second. Gets the two best players off the map just like that. King John keeping the team in it. Willing them to a victory. Flashy with a kill as well. Peel one though. He knows he's in a 1v4. And he's in for the long haul. He's willing to take this one all the way around the park. Making the Sunday stroll here. Maybe he's walking past <laughs> two players now. He's gonna maybe try to yeah, line this one up here got... onto statics. Oh, oh, oh God. I was about to say, it has potential to get trolly. Only 30 seconds to deal with here. Bomb is on the floor. Keo's going to have to get a lot going here. Squares up oh. onto Flashy. Takes oh. him out. Jumps oh. for King John. But, but John holds. John holds. <laughs> that would have been a crazy oh. kill if he gets that last one. I thought he had it, but I forgot King John was the man. King John getting three kills on the round. I mean, hey. King John on that bomb, I tell you what, if he would have got taken down, that I would have had I would have been a lot of faith in Dweebs to get that done right there. But hey. It's gonna be two four right now. Chicago hunted down by two. Bomb gonna be going all the way over towards A once again. They like that A push. But I like Dweebs, they just keep triple stacking it. It's not too often you see teams who triple stack an objective, but they know Chicago is comfortable here and they're willing to face check it every single time. King John, get the bomb John down again. With the quick plants. He he does not care, bro. And he is able to get it down before he's picked up, but they just immediately get snapped down on, and the LA Weebs are just gonna wipe him off yeah, the map. Papa's that is a quick right defuse. Now. Papa was gonna take out the teammates if he had to right there. <laughs> let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> Give me everything. Give me everything. All right, 5-2 lead, LA Dweebs. Very much so in the lead in this series. It's tied three to three. This is the game seven. Getting ready to go round eight on the line here. Game point, series point on the line. And the Chicago Hunted fight this one back, win three in a row, get us to a round 11. Or are the LA Dweebs gonna take their ticket on down to the conductor and get themselves back home? New Zealand done from here. It all comes down to this. The LA Dweebs gonna go for that A bomb site once again. I'm starting to think there's only one bomb site on this map. So now the Dweebs are 
Gonna have to back down here for a moment once again. This is, seems to be the status quo here. You just poke this out, poke this out, maybe kill the guy that's gonna try to flank, and then maybe make something happen here. But the dweebs so far, CNK, are not given anything. Neither are the hunted. Ooh. Oh, as I say, there goes John. Deal two with a nice kill there. E train getting that bomb down. Oh no, static can go down as well. 2v4. Yo, on the flank, picks up one. Ooh. He's gonna be staying alive. Get that bomb defused right now, Tipsy. Defuse that bomb right now. Flash with the kill as well. You're gonna have oh PO1 and PO2, the PO2. mighty duo. Tipsy picks up one. Now gonna be a 1v2. PO2, the man. 1v1. Get oh. shit done for the championship, baby. 6-2 punches the ticket home. They're gonna get it done. And just like that, the champions are gonna be LA dweebs. Highlight.